Once a fruit fly of concern has been positively identified and a trigger is reached that requires an eradication program, the eradication technique used depends on the type of fly found. For example, for oriental fruit fly, triggers include finding two adult flies within three and a half miles of each other or finding larvae. There may be other triggers, but these are the main ones. For the oriental fruit fly, we have a specialized technique known as male annihilation. This is used to interrupt the reproductive cycle. Other control methods include soil drenching, foliar spot treatment, and fruit stripping. Division of Plant Industries control team is trained and ready to respond to a fruit fly outbreak at a moment's notice. Briefly, the control techniques include male annihilation. The male annihilation technique consists of applying a small amount of a thickened spray containing an attractant and a pesticide to inanimate objects, such as utility poles and street trees, from a slow-moving vehicle. The treatment area is defined by a minimum one and a half mile radius beyond any infested site. Approximately 600 bait stations are applied per square mile every two weeks for two life cycles. Bait treatment may be applied by air to the infestation area if conditions warrant. Foliar spot treatments. Based on risk assessment, if aerial treatment is not deemed necessary or if the male annihilation treatment is not effective, the foliage of host trees or other plants within the treatment area will be treated with insecticide sprays. Soil drenches. The soil under host trees with fruit known or suspected to be infested with fruit fly larvae may be treated. Soil treatments may be applied when larvae, pupae, or a mated female have been discovered on a property. Adjacent properties are also treated. Fruit stripping. Fruit will be stripped from all host trees on properties where larvae have been found and adjacent properties within 656 feet. We have another important weapon in our fight against invasive fruit fly infestations, and that is the sterile insect release program. In the case of a widespread outbreak, we would release large numbers of laboratory-reared sterile flies during the final stages of an eradication program after other control measures had reduced the population to very low levels. This control method relies on flooding the area of a wild fly infestation with sterile flies. When sterile flies mate with fertile flies, no offspring are produced. Gradually, through continued sterile fly releases, the wild fly population decreases and the sterile fly population increases. When fertile flies can find only sterile flies to mate, the wild population is quickly eradicated. The size of the sterile release area will vary depending upon the severity of the outbreak. However, as a result of the devastating medfly outbreak in the late 1990s, as a preventive measure, the state of Florida, in cooperation with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, has been rearing sterile medflies at our Sarasota facility. The sterile flies, which have been genetically engineered to produce only males, are marked with a fluorescent dye. This allows us to distinguish them from any wild flies in the detection traps. We maintain a special trapping grid to measure how uniformly the flies are distributed. The sterile flies are released in three high-risk areas of the state, Tampa, Miami, and Sarasota Bradenton. Over 40 billion sterile flies have been reared and released in the last 10 years. And while isolated incidences of wild medfly detection have occurred over the last several years, there have been no major eradication programs due largely to the sterile release program. Costs associated with the sterile release program are only a fraction of what a full-scale eradication program would cost. These control methods prevent the establishment of invasive fruit flies in Florida. However, one pest, the Caribbean fruit fly, is already established here. The Caribbean fruit fly has become a serious pest of many tropical and subtropical fruits in central and south Florida since its introduction in 1965. Rigid quarantine requirements have been established to prevent the spread of infested material and to provide a means of compliance and treatment. The carob fly protocol is a body of regulations under which fresh Florida citrus fruit may be certified free of the Caribbean fruit fly and shipped to those domestic and foreign markets 
that have established regulations for this pest. Some major countries such as Brazil, Chile, Japan, and the People's Republic of China, plus the states of California, Hawaii, and Texas have accepted this certification protocol. The certification program, which is grower funded, involves creating buffers around groves that are free of preferred carob fly host plants, monitoring carob fly detection traps, and in some cases, aerial spraying. The Florida Department of Agriculture is credited with the development of this highly innovative program, which has allowed the continued export of citrus, one of Florida's most economically important crops. The certification program was among the first of its kind and has been used as a model for others worldwide. With the Care of Fly protocol, a safe and effective procedure has been established to export Florida citrus to areas requiring quarantine measures. Safeguarding our food supply is a paramount responsibility of the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. It has been many years since a major fruit fly infestation in Florida has required the kinds of drastic measures undertaken in Marjorie Kenneth Rawlings day. At that time, all the fruit was stripped from the trees, top of the market bell peppers and eggplants were burned, farmers were deprived of their crops and their livelihoods. However, the threat remains today. Fruit flies continue to arrive in Florida on a regular basis. In an eight-month period recently, four different types of fruit flies were detected in Florida, including the Mediterranean fruit fly. The Division of Plant Industry remains vigilant and successful in keeping fruit flies from becoming established in Florida. We maintain numerous programs, staff, and resources to intercept these destructive insects and to prevent the economic disaster they can inflict on Florida agriculture. Today, we are just as aware as the Floridians of Marjorie Kennan Rawlings Day of the value of protecting our food supply. Ms. Rawlings likely would be pleased to know that her fruit trees here at Cross Creek continue to flourish and be free of fruit fly infestation after these many years. Thank you.